Good morning. Welcome to Married to College Esports. My name is Matt Williamson. And I'm Aaron Elliott. Uh, so thank you. Apologize for the delay. Uh, we've had some technical uh, difficulties. A couple of our players are actually in Boston right now and actually playing at a couple of Starbucks. So they're getting on. Uh, so we should have the lobby and the game for you. It's, a high, it's Marriott College versus Ohio Northern University. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the starting lineup for you real quickly because this game should be starting any minute now. Uh, so right now we have our tanks, uh, Neptune and Lorix uh, Q8. For DPS, we have Shaken Dwarf and Chucks. And then support, we have Brimstone and Granny uh, Sunade. Uh, this should be a pretty good match. Uh, it is part of the Great Lakes Esports Conference. Um, and right now it is, is going to be a best of three. The first game will be in King's Row. So as soon as the lobby is finalized, uh, we will get that game to you. Very good. Like I said, we're, we're trying to get this last uh, player on right now. He's having a few issues trying to make sure he has a connection all set up and ready. Um, but once we have him all set and ready, we'll be going into this. Um, now, as far as the uh, the teams that we have here today, like how have they been looking in the in the Great Lakes Conference so far? Uh, it's been a little tricky at first. I mean, we, there's a lot of really good Overwatch teams. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now, uh, they are 0 and 4. But with each game, they have been improving. Okay. Like last week, uh, there were some very close matchups, and there were some really good plays. Uh, we've recently been able to hire an assistant coach to help with the Overwatch team. So we'll. See. Uh, we'll see how those improvements play out uh, in this match. Okay. And then as far as uh, Ohio Northern, do we have any idea of uh, where their standings are as far as in the conference? Uh, I have not been able to check okay. uh, with this, but uh, <clears throat> my understanding is they are a, a very good team. Okay. Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think they accidentally started the the game. So I think we're going to Yeah, it looks like they started into a 5v6, um, which, which is obviously not what they're wanting to do. So um, we may be having it kind of restarted here in just a second. Yeah, so we'll... Yeah, so yeah, they're going to... Um, okay, I think they... Tr yeah, they're trying to fix it, so apologize for the uh, technical difficulties. It's just... Like we said, yeah. right, uh, right now one of them is uh, actually two of them are gone for uh, rowing. Right, right yeah, now. they're on the rowing team, so they're they're in Boston right now. They're not competing in rowing right now, but uh, they've had to uh, find some places with Wi-Fi available, and they found it. So now they're just getting things uh, set up here. So gotcha. we're trying to see uh, what's going on here. So we thank you all for your patience as we are uh, trying to get this uh, game set up for you. So once we have that set, uh, we will get that to you. All right, so we're gonna see what's going on here. Um, okay. All right, so I think, I think everyone is in. So it looks like they just kind of started while he was connecting. So looks like they're preparing to attack, and we should be going here in about uh, five seconds. Yeah, so we're gonna go and get the game to you. All right, all right, here we go. Here game we go. one: Marietta College versus Ohio Northern University. This is Lejeune Tower. Marietta will be attacking first. Actually, wait a bit. Still need to get the game audio for you. Hold on. All right, there we go. We should be good now. All righty. So with this one here, we're gonna be trying to. Uh, take over and control the points here. Um, a lot of it's going to be about getting into position to take it because there's uh, two main chokeholds really right. trying to get into this location here. And we do see a High Northern using the, the double shield complex like yeah, the Arissa and Sigma. Uh, pretty much the meta comp right now. Whereas Mary is going with Arissa and Rohog for their uh, tank composition. A lot of it's going to be about uh, shield placements, making sure you can absorb as much damage from the enemy team as you can, um, and just protecting everything. So I see that uh, we have a Winston, possibly? Okay, no, we have a Risk coming back out. I thought we were going to go for a little bit more a super aggressive kind of play here. But right now, Ohio North is putting up a, a pretty strong defense, so Mary just got to find a way to break those shields. <laughs> so right now, we're Marietta is kind of stuck in this, uh, this chokehold here. They really need to find a way to get past this... Uh, this area here, these shields are keeping them at bay. 
And we see Mary to switch into the Sigma, so now they're going to be using double shield comp as well. So we'll see if they can disrupt from the back one. We see the Ana coming from behind, just trying to disrupt a little bit, sleep someone, but does end up going down. We have Reaper being able to sneak in a little bit, not only take out Ana, um, but also take out our uh, McCree. Yeah, well, yeah, at least, yeah. So uh, we do have a, a capture. Well, at least he tried to the capture, but Pharaoh was there to pop the ult to disrupt that. But it was a good attempt right there yeah. to sneak from behind. Shaking Dwarf tried to come in from around the side there and just sneak a capture. And at the very least, maybe he can pull some of the enemy team back to where they can't keep this uh, position. So right Marriott now. right now is trying to do this uh, two shield push, trying to get past this point here. But uh, Ohio Northern is keeping a, a strong defense. Holding them back, and then we have Reaper keep coming from the side, trying to disrupt and uh, do as much damage as he can. And there's the ulti, and he's able to take out uh, three, four, four members right there. Yeah, how been just putting up a very strong defense, and it seems like as soon as they break down one shield, the next shield comes back up, and then as soon as they get that one down, and that, that's the strength of the double shield comp. It's just a matter of having to put more damage onto those shields to get them break. But Barry's been having trouble to to break it and push forward. And this Reaper, they really need to be able to take care of him, try to stop him, because he's able to just do a lot of this extra damage and then just float away for free. But we do see the first one does go to Ohio Northern. They, they're just able to keep Marietta at their spawn point and just did not allow them to go forward. Yeah, where they couldn't push back in. So um, maybe we'll see a little bit of change maybe in some team comps. I don't know if we'll see Ohio Northern changing much of theirs right now, because that seems pretty strong at that point. And I wonder if just the fact that a couple of our players are playing on a Wi-Fi connection and the, the laptops there are kind of bare bones, that that might be playing a role in this as well. So they already have kind of a disadvantage in the match. Uh, it's very true. Uh, just because they do have a connection doesn't mean that they necessarily have the strongest connection they could. So mm -hmm. um, it could be playing a part. So we see the Sigma and the uh, Orisa. And see what they're using for breaking shields. So they do have the Symmetra, which is very good for breaking shields. So if they can utilize her, they can be able to, to break Ohio Nord's defenses and try to capture the point. Looks like they're all pushing around here to the high point, to the high ground here. Mm -hmm. I heard that's the advantage. Uh, I, I have as well. For Nobu. All right, so they're going to have to... So we already see Mary taking down the Hanzo. But how Northern's already in place to try to take the point, but Mary's already got two down, so this is a chance for them to jump in. So they're able to push them off the point right here, and uh, using their shields to try to absorb some of this damage, are able to start actually capturing the point. Um, Ohio Northern's going to have to push back because they don't have their full team and able to take out Marietta at this moment. But right now, Marietta has, does have control of the point, although they did lose Moira. So if Moira can come back quickly, because Ohio Northern is already starting to push back. Yes, Marietta does look like they're getting pushed back here, uh, losing placements of their shields to be able to absorb from that damage. Uh, Sigma definitely having to pull back, and uh, looks like Marietta... Yeah, so, Mar so Marietta uh, <clears throat> lost three of them, and Hyonor was able to uh, capture the, the point. So Marietta's going to have to the group back up and try to see if they can go in to infiltrate. So they really get some couple picks early on. So if they can do that again, I mean, this is all about a numbers game. So if they can pick off one or two, then that should give them a chance to be able to push forward. But we see here they're kind of stuck at this chokehold, and Ohio high Norton's already pushed forward to try to prevent them from going any further. Yeah, this is a similar situation we had from uh, the last game match we just had, where they're pushing in, trying to keep them at this chokehold off the point. But we have uh, Doomfist coming in here and getting a little bit of a pick, but then kind of going down himself but if he can if that Hanzo look like a kill that he did can kind of help but yeah it looks like the Genji is just going completely in the back lines and causing all sorts of problems for Marietta I think Genji just 1v6 the entire team there and stopped Marietta's push because they had a couple early kills but Genji just kind of went from went behind and there was no answer Right now we're seeing uh, Ohio Northern with a uh, Reinhardt push, trying to make sure that they keep a shield up. Um, trying to utilize that hammer down. I didn't see it actually hit anybody at the time. You see the Moira coming out. 
Let's see if that, uh, they're able to take out a couple from the Ohio Northern. So this will be the time to push forward. One of which including that Genji. So with uh, some of the DPS down, one of the tanks down, they might be getting a good push here. They need to watch out for this Hanzo and make sure they don't, they don't get hit by an ulti. So they gotta not stay grouped up right now. Um, but it looks like it's gonna be a capture for Marietta now. It's 21 to 90%. So losing this at any point here, uh, does not give them much time to try to recapture. So they really need to get a good holding point here and make sure they keep it. And what's going to be tricky is that Ohio Northern burned quite a few ults in that last fight, but that means those ults are going to come back up probably before Marietta gets close to 99%. So they're going to have to be able to survive a barrage of ults if they're going to, to keep this point. And speaking of ults, we see this Metro ult going up, trying to divide and absorb some of this damage here. Um, but there's the Hanzo ult uh, taking out several of Marietta. Yeah, and Genji's ult's coming out. <coughs> Doomfist trying to get away, trying to keep some uh, some contestant on this uh, this point here, but not able to. Uh, Marietta's going to lose it, and they don't have much time to That's get it. back on there. Yeah, Doomfist did go down, so I don't think there's anyone there to recapture the point. So, unfortunately, uh, Game 1 will go to Ohio Northern. But overall, that was a little bit better. They were able mm -hmm. to capture the point a couple of times. They had some good plays there. They were able to get past those uh, char uh, choke point holds that uh, really held them back in that first match. Yeah, I think what made the big difference there is just the Genji. Even this play right here where he was able to take out most of Marietta and there were no stuns. There was nothing for anyone to be able to kind of switch to him to take him out. All right, so with that, uh, so game one does go to Ohio Northern. So we will get the lobby set up for the, the next game. Uh, Maria does get choice for the, the map. So okay. whoever loses does get to, to choose the next map. So we'll just have to see. See what choice Marietta makes for their next map pick. Mm -hmm. um, now, if Marietta loses that one, that's going to be in the series. If they can come out with a win there, we'll see one more uh, mm -hmm. yeah, to break the it tie. Is it is best of three. Uh, the only stipulation is they can't pick the same map type. So they can't do a, a control game, if I remember correctly. Okay. So they'll have to pick... Uh, something else so we'll we'll see what they end up deciding to do here so we may be seeing an escort perhaps yeah it looks like they're hovering over assault escorts so possibly king's row maybe something that they're looking at and i think no, that one's gonna make a, a swap on their roster I can see the toughest thing that uh, Marietta may have here is that initial assault. Um, Ohio Northern seems very good about holding like a choke point, making sure they don't let Marietta through. So keeping them off of that initial point to where they can't begin that escort mission, I think is going to be the toughest part for Marietta. Especially for something like King's Row, there's actually multiple bottlenecks. So even if they get through the first choke point, there's going to be like, what like two, like three more different choke points because you got the one right after you actually get the the payload mm -hmm. so you're kind of going through the city there's the one right before the the first checkpoint mm -hmm. and then you got the one right at the very end so you have several choke points so marietta is going to have to find a way to through those choke points if they're going to uh win this uh win this game <clears throat> we do see the ready checks coming out Seeing the options here I'm looking for is like, are they going to look for something that, you know, some character that can sneak in from around behind and be able to take out some of uh, Ohio Northern that way? Or are they going to look for something else to kind of counter like the Genji, something with a stun, something that can, you know, make sure that you have the best of both worlds there yeah. maybe, or... I think they're probably going to need... This is going to be tough because on the one hand, they're probably going to expect a double shield comp again because mm -hmm. that worked very well for Ohio Northern. So why change it if it... Exactly, works, right? yeah. So they're going to need something like a Symmetra to take care of the shields. But at the same time, they should expect like either a Doomfist or a Genji to come to the back lines. Or, I guess or Reaper, as we saw in the first match. Exactly. Uh, so I guess like one of their DPS main something like Doomfist, which is really good at going to the back lines. So we would probably expect something very similar here. So they're going to need an answer to that because they didn't have that in the last game. So you're going to have one DPS that's going to take care of breaking shields. You're going to have to have the other DPS taking care of that back line infiltrator. So there's not a whole lot of damage for anything else. But it looks like Mary is going to be starting with defense okay. on this one. Uh, so right now we do see the, the Symmetra out there. And they're not going to have a Disruptor himself, but they are going to have the Hanzo in the back line. Then maybe they'll utilize him to try to see if he can snipe out any 
uh, Genjis or Doomfist that would try to get into the back lines for Marietta's defense. All right. So see, they do have the uh, the double shield combo here, and they do have Symmetra's portal down already to help give a little bit of mobility. Yeah. And looks like they're going with Mora and Lucio for support. <clears throat> oh. And here and comes the hamster. Okay, so a little different. And actually, they used the Symmetra portal on the very top of the tower. And we do see some training going back and forth, so a couple from area to go down, but Symmetra for Ohio Northern also goes down. But currently we have no Marietta contesting this point right now, so they're slowly building up. And we do have that three-point system here, so if they can get to that one, it's going to stay at a third, and there's a th the first third. We do have Wrecking Ball on the back here, causing havoc. Yeah, so they decide not to go with the double shield comp and just use Hammond to kind of wreck all over the place, and it seems to be working for Ohio Northern. Yeah, they pushed in real hard right off the get-go and uh, came from above, used that Symmetra uh, portal there to kind of drop in without having to worry about shields too much, and uh, was able to take that point fairly quick. So now we'll have to see how Marietta fares in holding this escort and stopping it from pushing as much as they can. So while we did talk about the fact that the, the struggle for Marietta is going to be the choke points when they're offense, but Ohio Northern's going to have to deal with those choke points. So we'll have to see how Marietta does defending those choke points. Yeah, I do expect that uh, Wrecking Ball is going to be gone for now, and we're probably going to be seeing a uh, shield combo coming out instead. Yep, we do see that. They do have the, the Sigma and the Orisa. <clears throat> and we do see May as well, uh, able to put up some walls, trying to just help keep the Marietta team back a bit. And they're and using the Bastion the, ult. Yeah, the Bastion's just staying right on top there, and his ult came out and it's just completely destroyed the, the entire uh, party for Marietta. Yeah, it looks like they're going, uh, a common uh, meta play here is Bastion on top of that escort, mm -hmm. keeping shielded and protected so that he can just deal damage freely. Yeah, they got, yeah, this is definitely your typical protect the Bastion comp because you got the double shields, you got May for putting up the walls to, the, and it kind of serves as a third shield technically. Mm -hmm. It does. And then you got the, uh, the Mercy who can keep heals, just pocket healing Bastion, as well as giving him a damage boost whenever things like his ult is ready. Mm -hmm. And not only do you get that, an extra shield almost from May, you also get those stuns, the freezes and stuff from May that can really disrupt back lines. Or if someone's going to try to get in there, it can really cause issues of them trying to sneak in from behind themselves. Yeah, and we see Ohio Northern just pushing without any resistance at all. They're just able to take down, and the ult is already back up for Bastion. And Marina just does not have an answer. They do get Bastion to put to sleep while he's in the middle of his ulti, but it's a little too late, and there, it looks like uh, Ohio Northern's going to get... The last little push here. They're holding it at one meter, but can't do it forever. Yeah, so that was just a really good composition by uh, High Northern. I have, I have to give respect to how they were able to, to play that. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's not going to be much time here for Marietta to do their own push this time. They're going to have to get into there in that assault point, take it very quickly, and then get their escort going. Well. Uh, the, the timing isn't as much of an issue. So I mean, is if as long as they're able to complete the entire round, then it goes to kind of a, a third a round. A third round tiebreaker. Right. Because um, if I remember right with comps, because I when I first was looking at comps, I thought it was like you had to uh, like beat the time for the other team. But but you do have to get the distance, though. Yeah, you have to get the distance. So since Ohio Northern was able to complete the entire round, Marietta is going to have to do the same. Otherwise, Ohio Northern takes the game in the match. But if Marietta is able to at least take the round, then we go to kind of like a game three where both sides have like a limited, like they, they do each side one more time, but their time is based on how they did in the first two rounds. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll see what Marietta's going to go with for offense. Uh, but So it looks like we see the Doomfist to maybe try to go into the back lines and cause some disruption. And possibly the, the no, so Diva. Diva and a Fera. So this looks like a dive comp. Looks like they may be going for a similar idea of what they did. Rather than like a Wrecking Ball, though, we have a Winston and a Diva um, trying to go high and come right in over top of all the shields, which is similar to what we saw with Ohio Northern, just with a different team comp. Right, it was just with the Symmetra and Hammond instead. So we'll see how this works. We have the Lucio for the speed boost, so they're going to go around the sides here. And we don't know the comp yet for Ohio Northern, but it looks like it's at least a shield. We see the Winston diving in. But Winston's taken out very quickly there. We do have D.Va back in the back line too, but it looks like she's already lost her uh, 
her mech. But yeah, Mary is trying to dive in, but Ohio Northern is just able to jump to each person and knock them out very quickly. And we do see only a one shield combo from uh, Ohio Northern at this point. Looks like an Orisa and a uh, Roadhog. Um, also, Junkrat trying to shoot over this wall here from Ohio Northern. Um, and the tour going for the the extra turrets. Hey, Mary, I'm maybe trying to regroup here, trying to figure out maybe some changes they can make, um, what good options they would have. But it just seems like a high northern is able to just call out a target, and they just go from uh, 100 to zero in just a matter of seconds. Yeah, their focus turn is very good, where they're able to, you know, as soon as that Winston jumped in, they all turned on him and took him down as quickly as they could. Um, same there with that Widowmaker, she showed her head for a second, and they blasted her. We do see a Junkrat coming out here, trying to lob a few grenades, maybe over some walls, over some shields, and get some of that extra damage going. Um, meanwhile, Fair trying to go up in the air, but is, of course, vulnerable and gets uh, pulled as soon as she lands by Roadhog. Yeah, she just took a lot of damage while flying around, and Roadhog was able to finish off. So Marion is having, definitely having some trouble with this first choke point, and uh, Highland Northern is not giving them any room at all. In fact, Ohio Northern pushing up a bit more to the, the choke point itself rather than staying back on the point. Um, we, I don't know, if, I don't know if we'll see them push much further than that. Um, but Marietta keeps trying to get a little bit of a regroup, but it seems like before they can regroup, it's almost like they're staggering a little bit because before they can even regroup, someone from Marietta is already down. So it's always a a four v six or a five v six. But they need to group up with everyone alive if they're going to try to make a push. But Ohio Nordens is just trying to make sure that at least someone gets picked off every time so they just never have a chance to push forward. And like right now, two for Marietta is down and we see two more for Marietta stepping forward and it's at critical health. Yeah, they're not able to get the rest of their team together so you're, you're 2v6 and 2v5ing at the best. Um, but right now, here we go, they're holding back here for a bit. I think they're trying to get their regroup together, figure out where to push from. They do have a. They've been pushed back to their respawn now, so they have three exits that they can come out of here. I think yeah. four, actually, maybe. All right, so everyone's back up, and Widowmaker was at least able to take out a turret. And we have one minute left here for Mary to make something happen here. They really got to get a push into that assault uh, position. And they only have about 44 seconds, so they're going to have to push that. And unfortunately, none of their alts are available right now, and I'm going to bet that How Northern has most of their alts ready to go because they haven't had to burn a whole lot by just taking out one or two at a time. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have Stigma on the side here trying to, or Sigma on the side trying to uh, drop some shields to get a little bit of coverage for his team, but he doesn't have the whole team there. Most of the team has also already gotten taken out inside the spawn even. Um, we do have a, someone trying to sneak behind a uh, Junkrat, but he's not able to do much from there either. He gets turned on very quickly. And with the last seconds ticking down, I believe that's going to be it for this match, which will put us in 02 for Marietta. Yeah, so unfortunately that will be it uh, for the, the Overwatch match. So uh, Ohio Northern will uh, take this uh, 0 to 2. But yeah, part of it was just that Ohio Northern was able to swap the people. I mean, they had the right compositions when they needed to. They were able to swap two targets one after another very quickly. And the the staggering from Marietta made it very difficult to have a six v six fight. Yeah, the, even their initial uh, their initial push in uh, didn't really have a uh, like the whole team with it. Winston went in and then died, and then by the time he would he had died, then Diva was in there, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the team just kind of trickled in on their initial push for that assault point. Mm -hmm. So um, getting that jump in like they did, uh, like Ohio Northern did with their uh, wrecking ball coming in, and then their whole team was just there and able to start taking that assault point very quickly. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe next week we can see a little bit more of their, their team if they're wanting to go for that aggressive assault right off the bat, getting in there together at the same time and choosing targets and taking them out all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I mean, just the fact that they're able to see some different things that Ohio Northern was able to do, they, and they might be able to learn a couple of things from how they're able to play their games and maybe adapt that to their play style. So we'll see uh, next week how they're going to, if they can make those kind of adjustments mm -hmm. uh, for that match.
All right, so for right now, um, our League of Legends team will be starting up around noon. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll keep the stream up, but we'll just kind of have to wait a little bit uh, as we get things set up. I'm going to try to at least get a little timer here. Gotcha, yeah. We have uh, about a, looks like about 25 minutes here, roughly, mm -hmm. until uh, the League of Legends uh, matches are going to be starting here. Right, so we're just going to get a few things here uh, set up for you. So... Uh, if you need to step away for a little bit, but don't move away from the stream, but we will be back in about 25, uh, 26 minutes or, or so. So we will be right back.